In this video, we're going to take a look at fixing vector artwork when you import it into Carveco. So in this example, what I've done, I've downloaded a DXF file from off the internet for the spanners. Now, there were a couple of problems with this, but what I've done, I've created a few extra problems so I can show you how to fix this. So if I were to try to machine this now, it would give me an error. So let's say I'm not really too fussed about the machining parameters. I just want to show you how to fix it. So let's say that I select all of these spanner vectors and I want to create an area clearance. So I'm just going to select any sort of sizes not really important. So I just want to show you that it doesn't work. So let's choose my inch tools. Let's just say a quarter of an inch. And I'm not even going to set the material up. So that calculates and it will tell me that there's a problem. And it's saying to, to identify self intersections, group the vectors. Now, don't do that. If you group the vectors, then you won't be able to tell what the problem is, especially when you come to the vector doctor to try and find out what's going on. So don't group the vectors. OK, so I'll select OK and close that. Right, let's find out what's going on then. Which of these spanners has a problem? So what I'm going to do is just select everything. Go to the vector doctor. And I'll just move that over to the side so you can see it. And normally, by default, you will have coincident points turned on. Turn those off. You don't really need to be checking for those, really, to be completely honest with you. It won't affect the machining. What is important is vector intersections. So if I select Identify, you can see that it's telling me that's there's quite a few problems here. Now I want to explain what all these different problems are because I've got a few different problems. So the green going around the outside, you can see that I've got all these green circles and you can also see that I've got all these green circles on this particular spanner here. What this means is that there are duplicate vectors. So green, especially going all the way around the profile, mean that there are duplicate vectors over the top of one another. So if I were to, let's say, clear the markers, and then I'll just select that spanner there, so just click on it, press delete on the keyboard, and there should be another one sitting underneath it. So I've deleted it, and there's another one that's sitting there. So if I select everything again and identify, you can see that the green markers don't show up on that spanner. So it's OK now, and that should be OK to machine. Now, the outside, you can see that I've got a duplicate vector on the outside. Now, what you can also do, this doesn't work every single time. So if it doesn't work, then you need to do what I've just done, which is select it and delete. What you can also do is deselect and then come over to here and click on duplicates. And then that will just select anything that is a duplicate vector. Now, it won't work every time because it has to be within this tolerance. So sometimes it may not. So whilst it's selected, press delete on the keyboard and then you will have deleted all of the duplicate vectors. So if I clear the markers again, let's select everything, identify, and you can see that I've just got these red markers now. So that's sorted out all of the green circles, which are duplicate vectors. So let's take a look. We'll leave these until last, all of these red markers over the right hand side. And I'm going to zoom in on these areas. So here you can see that there's something going on here. I think that maybe one node has been moved over to the other. I'm not too sure what's going on there. 
and then if we take a look at this one here you can see that there's a vector loop there so if I were to select everything like so and then click remove vector loops and I'm not going to bother with any of this just click fix problems and it should definitely fix this bottom one down here so if I clear the markers again now and identify you can see that it's actually fixed both of them now if I undo that and I'm going to fix this one manually so if I undo that and then let's identify again you can see that I've got them back so if I zoom in and I want to sort this particular one out here okay so the way that I'm going to fix this is I need to see what's going on with this and to do that we need to go into node editing so what I'm going to do is clear the markers so it just leaves me with that go over here into node editing and then you can sort of see what's going on with the nodes now I'm pretty sure that this node has been moved and it's actually supposed to be here but I don't really want to mess about with it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click here and I'm going to select cut vector so what this has done it's basically moved a node somewhere so if I do that there and cut that vector so I've cut it on the actual node and I'm also going to cut it there so right click cut vector okay so that's left me with this portion that's cut out now I need to cut this little bit out here as well so if I cut the vector there again let's just delete that first of all and then I'm going to cut the vector here let's say so press C on the keyboard shortcut and you can see that it's cut the vector there so if I delete that it's left me with this open vector so if I select that and select that then what I can come down to is down here close vector with a line now you can either do it with a line or you can do it with a curve now it's also given me this extra portion here I'm not too sure what's actually going on with that so I'll just delete it because it seems to be a separate entity so just delete that and you can see that it's all one part now so if I select everything and then select identify you can see that it's lost that circle so that's how to do it manually so you would just cut in two places and then join it back up so for this one let's say that I wanted to do that manually I don't need to do this manually because it's going to fix it if I select remove vector loops but what you can also do is go into node editing again and let's maybe cut that there and then let's cut that there so let's delete that one delete that one and then what you can do is create a line select on there so it snaps to the end of there I'll press maybe control down on the keyboard so it creates an orthographic line so it's at 90 degrees press space on the keyboard so it allows me to carry on and then I'll just bring that over to there and then what I want to do is just trim these so if I trim the vectors and I'll turn on auto join trim that off trim that off and if I select that it will all be one vector so if I select all of these again clear the markers identify and you can see that it's removed that loop okay now in this example I could have just done that really quickly by clicking remove vector loops and it would have automatically done it these portions on the right hand side these are particularly interesting what's happened here is 
it's created a duplicate of just one part of the actual line. So I see these crop up quite a lot and they're pretty hard to spot to be completely honest with you, especially if you're a new user. So if I select say this one and let's zoom in, you can see that I've got all of these red circles going down this line. Now, if I go into node editing, you can see that those red circles just happen to be wherever there's a node. So wherever there's a node, it's saying that there's an intersection. So that's telling me that there is actually a vector going over the top of this. And the way that you can see that is if I were to zoom in here and then go into node editing again, and let me just clear the markers so we can see this. What I'm going to do is grab one of these nodes and move it out of the way. So I've moved that out of the way and there's still a line there. So that's what the problem is. If I move that one, you can see there's still a line there. So there's actually three lines going over the top of each other. And you see this quite a lot. And it's all down to the way that whatever software that you created it in or the person who created it in, it's however they've drawn it or however it's been exported. I know when I first started using AutoCAD, I used to do this quite often. I would create duplicate lines over the top of each other and, and not even realize. So if I move that one, you can see that that one is actually the one line. Now, I could go around deleting all of these nodes, but to be completely honest with you, it would take me quite a while to do it. So the quickest way to do it is to cut this. So if I cut that there, press C and C again, just make sure that it's cut. Do the same down here. Okay, so that's created a cut there. Let's just take a look up here. So what I'm going to do is just delete that. So you can see it's sort of cut it up into different pieces. So you can see that that's cut there, so that's okay. So I've got a little gap there. I need to cut it at the top here as well. So let's cut there. Now I need to make sure that I move this because it's it's actually cutting on the end there. So if I now right click and cut vector, you can see that it's separated. So be a bit careful. If it's not cutting or something, just move the node out the way. So this area here, I can just delete that. And then what I can do with these is just join it up with a straight line. So close vector with a line. So if I select all of these now, identify, I've only got these two that have the problem. So let's do the same quickly for these two. So let's clear the markers. Let's go into node edit. And what I'll do straight away is move these and just make sure that I've moved the node to cut. So undo that. And then I'm going to right click cut. Let's take a look down the bottom. Now that one doesn't touch on there, so I can undo that. And then if I right click, cut, it should cut the vector there. So let's zoom in. Okay, so I just need to cut it again. Sometimes it can be a bit tricky. Okay, undo that. Cut again. Now what I sometimes do is just press C on the keyboard quite a few times. And then it actually cuts it because maybe there's a couple of nodes over the top of each of it. So let's delete that. Okay, and then we can join that up again. And then do the same thing with this one. So what I'll do is just go into node editing. I know that there's one overlapping there. 
press C on the keyboard a few times. Go into this one. I know that there's not one overlapping there, so just press C on the keyboard a few times. And you can see that that's cut that. Let's delete that. And then join that up with a line. Okay, so if I go to identify now, I haven't got any problems. And if I go back to my toolpath, the area clear, let's select all of the spanners and just select calculate now. And you can see that it calculates the toolpath. So that's how you clean up vector artwork. If you've got any problems and it's telling you that you can't actually machine it. So that's just some of the ways that you can actually modify the artwork so you can use it for machining.